Hey, Pokey friends! Welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ranger. I am very excited to be playing this. I the reason why I've started playing this is because I've never really explored anything outside of the main Pokemon series, such as Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. The only other game I've purchased that I really enjoyed, that's like a non-main series game, is Pokemon Dash. So this is exciting to explore the whole realm of Pokemon Ranger. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now this is a old game. I did a little other video about what was Julia's like gameplay like so far, but we're going to do a new game. And yes, we understand that this was a previously saved game, and we're going to hopefully lose that file because we're going to start our own. Your desire to help people in need, you have the qualifications to become a Pokemon Ranger. Ooh, letter, I love it. Invitation. Your strong motivation to become a Pokemon Ranger. How you live in harmony with Pokemon and strive to protect nature every day. How you selfishly go to the help of those in need. How you've trained and built your body oof, to become a Pokemon Ranger. All this I've come to understand and appreciate from the seven letters you've sent me. I would like to meet you. I want to see you for myself and if you really are worthy of being a ranger. I will be waiting for you in Fall City next Sunday. You'll find and close a ticket to the ferry to Fall City in an official Pokemon Ranger uniform. Wear it. Wait for me in the harbor. With that uniform on, I won't have any trouble spotting you. I'll look forward to seeing you. Best regards, Spencer, Ringtown, Ranger Leader. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Um, it depends, but right now in this game, I feel very a boy, so yes. Yes, I will. And here we go. Beginning the game. And now it's not black anymore. And there's a Snorlax, kid. Papa, hurry, hurry. It's Fall City, Fall City. Whoa, hold up. There's no need to get so excited. Fall City isn't going to run away on us or anything like that. You don't know. Patrick pushed the city and SpongeBob. This city could have legs, and there's a Krabby. That's an interesting onomatopoeia. Man. You there. Yes, you youngster. This is your first time here. Is that not so? And why would I think so? Because you appear to move using only the... How do you know how I'm moving? You don't know me. Know the control pads I use. Rude. You should know that you can also walk around by using stylus on the lower touch screen. After all, different places have different ways of walking, correct? So I believe the reason why they made that a feature is because the DS series was released and they really wanted to focus on the lower touch screen so that's why they put that in the mechanics of Pokemon Ranger so I feel like that's a little hypothesis put in the comments if you think so too but I believe it is as well when you've decided which direction you want to go apply your stylus to the touch screen then leaving the stylus touching this touch screen Slide it on the direction you want to walk. It's just that easy. By and large, I always use my stylus for getting around. You know, I'm from the touch generation. Creepy. That's a very creepy statement. But that's just me. People can do whatever they want. Yes, so I'm going to do the control pad. I will only use the little stylus when I'm making my circles. Oh, hi! Hi, Ranger. There's something hiding behind this crate. If it's an Ekans, I'm going to faint. Long, squirmy things scare me silly. LOL. LOL. Hurry, touch it and see. Oop. Oh, that is totally an Ekans. 
Oh, wow. It was a mine-in. No, that was an Ekans. I'm joking, I'm joking. It was a mine-in. It that was hiding. Yes, yes. But I don't want a mine-in. I want a wind goal. Or this girl. Who is she? Hi there. Are you waiting for to meet someone? If you got time on your hands, try chatting with people. Don't be shy. Just go up to the people you want to meet, then touch them with your stylus. It's not just people. If something catches your attention, don't be afraid to touch it with your stylus. I feel like she wants me to use something to talk to people. Or to walk around with. I don't know. But don't forget to check out the tourist center. I guess this is it? This is the tourist center. Yep, yep, yep. Using those context clues. Oh yeah. And then here is a person. Are you traveling alone? You sure don't look like a tourist. I mean, your outfit is so outlandish. Oh. I just got it in the mail. It was like Amazon Prime or something. What is that outfit about? I think I know. Amazon Prime. What can you do? Big guy with the burning eyes. We're on the ferry together. Well, I guess. Excuse me. Well, are you one of those Pokemon Ranger people? Can you do that thing you do for me, you know? That loopy thing you do? Oh, you can't yet. Oh, that's too bad. She's creepy. I don't like her. I'm running away. I don't even want to talk to that man. Nope, nope. I'm avoiding the tourist center now. Let's go get that mine in. Where's your stylist? Don't forget to check out the... What? What? Is there someone else I have to talk to? I'm going to talk to the center person. Welcome to Fall City. Fall City is known as the largest city in the Foyer? Foyer? Region? This city's best known landmark is the Joy Clock Tower, which is located at the north end. Would you like to ask me any questions? That's what I have to... That's what I have to be for work. And now, I'll chat normally. So, I want to know, what is with the way you're dressed? You're not really a ranger, are you? That's obvious. You've never worn that outfit before. Well, correct. I'll just talk to this man just to see if we're all done. Traveling with my wife. I wonder how many years it's been. Well, your wife is weird. You got a weird wife, man. Ooh, there's Spencer with the cool hair. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. You're the letter writer, right? Oof, that's like a little pun. The uniform I sent you, it's a little on the big side. Well, did you have an extra small? Well, I guess it's not that big a concern. Oh, anyway, I'm Spencer, Ringtown's Ranger Leader. It's good to see you finally. I enjoyed it. exchanging letters with you. It brought back memories of the burning ambition I had when I was working on becoming a ranger. Thanks for that. Well, you know, you're welcome. Humble adieu, how do you do? Let me show you to my ranger base. Like the name suggests, a ranger base is a base of operations for rangers. <laughs> the foyer region, that'd be here, has four cities. Fall City, Ringtown, Summerland, and Winton. Well, it sounds like winter, spring, summer, fall. I love it. Seasons. Innovative. In each of the four cities is a ranger base. And as you know, or already know, I'm the ranger leader of Ringtown. Ringtown is a fair distance away to the west and... Explanation point. Did you hear that? It came from over there. Over where? Oh no! It's Hound Doom. This doesn't look good. That Hound Doom appears to be highly agitated. That mining must have angered it. I bet it pulled some harmless prank that didn't go over very well. I know that is a sudden thing. But I need your help to calm down these Pokemon. I'm going to entrust you with this capture style. 
The Capture Styler is a device rangers use to communicate their feelings to Pokemon to befriend them. Only certified rangers are permitted to possess a Styler, but this is an emergency. Well, meow, meow, I guess. Capture the mine in for me. I'll capture the Houndoom. Here, take this. Da -da -da. We got a... Capture Styler! It's like a dream come true. I've only had nightmares till today. This is my dream. Yes. Followed by a lot of dots and question marks. It's fantastic that you've received the Capture Styler, but you don't have any idea on how to use it. I know you make circles. You go, Bleh. I'll capture the Houndoom first. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. It's a wild Houndoom. Capture on! It's like a Power Ranger kind of thing. I vibe. I vibe. I'm going to explain how a capture works. You throw the Pokeball, like let's go. Just pay attention to me. First, touch your stylus on the lower touch screen. The lower touch screen. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You can draw a line on the touch screen by moving the stylus without lifting it. Okay. With this line, called the capture line, draw a loop around the target Pokemon. It doesn't matter where you close the loop of the capture line, by the way. Oof. When you encircle your target Pokemon in a loop, a blue number appears above it. Keep drawing more loops around your target, the blue number will get smaller. Oh yeah, I guess that's... Okay. You need to keep drawing loops until the blue numbers no longer appear. But you have to be careful. If you lift your stylus before the end, your capture attempt will fail. Uh oh. Oh well. Nice that? There's another thing you need to know. Boop, boop. If the capture line touches the target Pokemon. Yes, 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 yes. The capture line disappears like this. The target Pokemon may also attack the capture line. Well, bam! If the capture line is damaged by a Pokemon's attack, your Styler loses some of its energy. Boom. If your Stylus's energy hits zero, you can no longer do your job as a Ranger. Then you get fired, then you're unemployed, and then you cry, and then you wonder why. You wonder why the Pokemon had to make you fired tears. Put another way, it's game over. Yes. Yes. Okay, keeping the points I made in mind, let's try to capture this Houndoom. I thought you were capturing it, why am I doing your work? Good, good. I'm not doing it. Without lifting the stylus, keep drawing the loops around your target. Each time you make a loop, the blue number above the target goes down. Keep drawing loops until the blue number stops appearing. Yeah. He likes to repeat. Watch for the blue number to turn orange. When you see an orange number, that's your cue to lift your stylus. Listen, this is a very important point, so I'll repeat it again. When you see an orange number, lift your stylus from the touch screen. Well, I guess now I know. That's a successful capture. Da -da -da. Go! Capturing a Houndoom! Alright, your turn. First, you need to get close to that Minin. Touch. It's a wild Minin. Capture on. Okay. Oh, I guess I was supposed to lift, but I forgot to lift. But it's all good. It is capture complete. Good job. That's excellent for your first ever capture. Maybe. Could have been better. Let's off reset. I'm joking, I'm joking. When that was a bit of excitement I didn't count on, still, I think it's lucky for me since I got to see your potential as a ranger firsthand. Oh, glad, glad for that. The Hound Doom settled down enough, I guess. Okay, big guy, off you go, back to where you came from. Oh, so kind, so kind to not keep it. What I did was release that Pokemon. Release literally means to turn loose captured Pokemon back into their natural habitats. 
After all, rangers can't take capture Pokemon with them unless they have compelled reason. I feel like this could be a Nuzlocke. Pokemon Ranger Nuzlocke. And then, you know, you only could keep a Pokemon for a certain amount, then you have to release it. I feel that. I feel that. Well, it looks like this Minin has taken a liking to you. Yes. Yes. That said, you can't really bring it with us. You see, rangers aren't allowed to take Pokemon out of their natural habitats. You better release that Minin. Bye bye, Minin. Au revoir. Whoops, I almost forgot. I've got to confer the certificate on you. It's official proof that you're a ranger. Normally, I would have to take a proper certification test. It's only when you pass the test that you should receive the certificate. However, forget the test. When you were faced with this real life situation, you resolved it admirably. There's no reason at all why you shouldn't be certified as a Pokemon Ranger. Read this certificate thoroughly and sign here, please. Well, oof. Ranger's Pledge. I hereby plead to come to the aid of those in need and to safeguard natural or safeguard nature to the best of my ability as a Pokemon Ranger. Always with pride and courage in my heart. Potentially. Potentially. Okay, I thought I was going to actually have a signature, but we're just going to do what I normally do and give my name as Kyle and Blue. Oh yeah, double jump. Yes, my name is Kyle for sure. And I signed it via Pokemon font. Oh yeah. Congratulations, Kyle. Now, well, you are now a genuine, full-fledged Pokemon Ranger. Huzzah! Power to the stylus. Having said that, you're also a complete rookie Ranger who doesn't know left from right yet. True. I'm like left, right, left, right, up, down, side to side. You need to gain experience above all. There's no time to waste. First, we need to wing across the deep blue sky to Ringtown. Step this way. Sorry I kept you waiting, Pharaoh. Do your thing. Oh look, it's the little Minin. And then, oof. Oh wow, that's a beautiful region. Huzzah, Pokemon Ranger. So far, this is pretty nice. I like it, I like the little Using the stylus, circling around. Ooh, that's pretty cute. Minin's pretty cute. I wish Plusle and Minin had a little bit more oomph in their status, but whatever. I feel like the whole point of releasing them in Generation 3 was to introduce like the double team battles, so they did their job. This Minin followed us here. Oh, look! There's my counterpart with their puzzle. Maybe it's intimidating being in an unfamiliar environment. True. Same. I think it will come back here on its own later. We should return it to its natural habitat then. Welcome back, leader. Who? Solana. Oh, hi. Are you the hot rookie prospect? Maybe. Maybe. I'm Solana. Glad to meet you. What's your name? Potentially. This is Kyle, who has become a Ringtown Ranger today. Maybe. Kyle, Kyle. So, I have memorized it. Welcome to our team. We will be working together from now on. Let's do our best. Oh, and this is my partner Pokemon, Puzzle. Come on, say hello. Hmm. I like the jumps. That was a very good hello jump. Now that the introductions are out of the way, let's head inside. This building is Ringtown's Ranger Base. Come on, let's go in. No. Avoid. Run away. Oh look, a slowpoke. I want a slowpoke. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Yup, I heard you were coming. You're the letter writer, aren't you? Yup, I gotta read them too. I sure you know how to express yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. My name's Murph. But you could just call me Murph, okay? I've been a ranger for, oh, three years now. But my ranger rank hasn't gone up at all in them much. Oh, yeah, yeah. That ranger rank thing, that's really tough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my partner Pokemon Slowpoke. It's the faster of us two. True. That's why, you know, three years, you're still there. Glad to meet you. Okay, cool, cool. All right, will everyone please gather? Or gather, please, potentially? This is Ringtown's Ranger base. Kyle, you're a member of this base starting today. That said, for me to recognize you as a fully qualified ranger, you still have quite a way to go. There's a mountain of things you have to learn from here on out. Are you sure you're up to it? We'll see! Okay, the look in your eyes tell me the tale. Slowpoke tales. Please. Your skill level aside, you're a real ranger in spirit. Yes, yes. You look through my eyes. As come blah 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 in ring town, let's all work together to the best of our abilities. Oof. Oh yeah. That's weird. What is that? But that's also me. Larry. Okay, okay Larry. Trouble! There's trouble! It's a crisis! Hail! 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 Listen, leader! My precious Pokemon ran off in that Lyra forest! Hurry! Capture my Pokemon and take it into protective custody! This sounds like a perfect mission for Kyle. Maybe. Potentially. Enter the Lyra Forest and capture Larry's precious escape Pokemon. That's your first mission. Don't fear failure. Do your best. Until it's game over. And I'm excited about a mission! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't be afraid of failure! Leader, you've got to be joking! Failure's no good, you've got to be afraid of failing! Are you sure it's going to be okay asking this rookie to handle this mission? <laughs> there's no, there's nothing to be worried about. The Lyra Force is right outside Ringtown. Go ahead and meet you there. Or I'll go ahead and meet you there, potentially. We'll see. Well, this isn't just dandy. I asked the leader because he's the most trustworthy ranger here. But it looks like this rookie, a less worthy face, you have seen. Larry, no one asked you for your opinion. Rude, Larry. Kyle, pay no mind. Larry can say some rotten things, but he doesn't really mean what he's saying anyway. It's not important. I'll give you a few simple tips about the capture styler. Besides, capturing your styler, or besides capturing, your styler has many convenient functions. Oh. Kyle, your styler. Ooh, that's a rhyme. Kyle with style. Kyler with styler. It's not turned on. See? You take this part like this. Maybe. First, this is how you open the menu. Just touch the weird icon at the upper left of the touch screen. That displays a ring of icons around you. Give it a try. Bloop. Oof. There we go. There's a whole little panel. There's my status mission, styler at level 1, 3 out of 100, line length 100. Cool, cool. Okay, good. Your capture styler really is an amazing tool. It can show you your present location and give you information on Pokemon, for instance. See? That kind of data is shown on the upper screen. Or in this case, the bottom right, left screen, the one below me. Oh, it also allows you to quick save your game. If you want to take a rest, you should check it out for yourself. Hello, rookie. I am very pleased to meet you. 
I'll be here to recharge your Styler whenever you need. Oh yes, if you want to save a record of your Ranger activities on your Styler, please touch the save machine. Oh, that's cool. So let's go talk to the operator to see if they can recharge my already charged Styler. Yep, it's already full. Thank you. And then now we're going to save. And then now we're going to officially write over the previous Julia's game. And yes, we're pretty sure. Au revoir, Julia. The saved game. We're now going to have Kyle as the saved game. Yes, yes. We will take care. Thank you. I'm going to pet the slow poke. Because it's a good slow poke. And that's all. Bye, weird Murph. We're now walking around. Round town. We're now going to go up. Go up to the forest. Kyle, wait! Kyle! Are you feeling nervous on your very first mission? Yes. I've never played this game before, so I don't know what's going to happen. Or how to work it. Or do it. I think it's fun. So I'll tag along. Yes. Yes, Solana. Please help me out. Help me out. Help this lost boy out. Don't fear failure. Rookie mission. I'm very fearful. Very fearful. Okay. Ready to begin your rookie mission? Your mission is to capture Larry's Pokemon, which has fled to somewhere inside Lyra's forest. You are also required to return the capture Pokemon to Larry. He'll be waiting here. This really shouldn't be any or will be an especially challenging mission. We'll see. Also, Lyra Forest, Lyra from Heart Gold Soul Silver, is she related to this forest? I say yes. Lyra, by the way, or Larry, by the way, what was the Pokemon that fled? It was by, uh, uh, you know, it's on the tip of my tongue. You know, it's a, it's just too upset right now. I can't remember what it, you call it. It's name, the name that literally it speaks. Like Pikachu, or Raichu, or... It, I don't know what Ditto says, but if it had to say a sound. It's powerful, yet classy. It might appear to have a slinky look to it, but it's also clunky. What I'm trying to say is, it's a Pokemon! That's what it is. Same. Same. That's not much of a hint to go on. Well, Kyle, did you get what kind of Pokemon Larry means? I'll go with you. If there's anything you don't understand, you can always ask me. I don't think you should pay much attention to Larry's description. True. True. I never did. Larry was mean. He couldn't believe in me. Oh, there's a Zigzagoon. I want to touch it. I want to capture it. It's a wild Zigzagoon! So here we go. Come on. And... Yes. Capture complete. Kyle earned 9 XP. Yep, there we go. Good capture. I could tell that the Pokemon came to accept your friendly feelings. Same, but I don't want that one. I want a Chikorita. Come back, Chikorita. Oof, here we go. It's a wild Chikorita. Game on, or capture on. There we go. Come on, Chikorita! Yes! And then, register data. Chikorita looks cute when it's when it toddles with its leaf blowing in the wind. Same. Same. Okay, so, oh look! Everyone's following. It's a party. That's not the way. I think my instincts tell me so. Well then, where is it? Is it this way? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, it's not that way. Maybe it's the other way. Maybe it's the way which I didn't walk. Like this way. I don't know. Maybe it is... Maybe it's not that way. Then where is it? Maybe it's not even this... Nope. It is in the forest, okay. Maybe this is a rookie mission, because I have no clue 
no clue. So we... How can we cross the river? Is there a way to cross the river? Nope. But I do want a mud camp. That'd be very cool. Yes, we get a capture on is so cool. Now maybe... Oh, I've never seen it before. The styler on your belt looks shiny and new too. Cute. So... First thing you want to do is capture a wild Pokemon. You need to use it to get close. Touch it with your stylus. And that's the process to capture it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Very nice, very cute. Very cool. I love how it, like, bops a little bit as you walk around. At least those little, like... You know... When they go through the patches. There you talk to him. Gonna go up. That's not the way. Is there another way? Let's see. The browser feature automatically registers data on Pokemon. The registers data used are classified by using numbers that are assigned specifically to the ranger. We see most classification numbers are arranged conveniently for rangers to or the your region. Okay. The Pokemon you have caught isn't my Pokemon. That's a wild Pokemon. Mine's a lot smooth, yet craggy too. I don't care how you do it. Get my precious, darling, back to me. It won't be a second too soon. Okay, but we got it. Is it this one? So let's see. Um. Here we go. Really? It just now appeared? <sighs> come on, Taylor. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, don't break the circle. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cut that, Taylor. Taylor. Lits around busily. Capture it when it grows tired and rests. Here we go. Good job, Kyle. This Taylor's lair is missing Pokemon. I'm sorry. I actually knew, but I kept quiet about it. I wanted you to see how you could deal with this situation. I wanted to see if you had the drive and tendis tenacity to solve a problem even though you have very little information. You have passed with flying colors. All right, back to Larry. Well, Larry was a little bit of a rude person, and it took me forever to find the Pokemon. So, oh, 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 my darling Taylor. Well, I'd be darned. Good going, Ranger. It just goes to show you, Leader. Your Leader knows the town when he sees it. I'm really sorry for giving you grief, familiar. I think you so. Well, Bye, Larry. We don't want to see you again. You did it! Congratulations. Actually, do you want to know about my recognition? I also had to go look for Larry's missing Pokemon, Taylor. You guys could have all told me, but chose not to. That's rude. Congratulations. You have cleared your mission. You will now join the ranks of Pokemon Rangers in name and in deed. Well, thanks. Leader, help! There's some trees on fire. Uh-oh. What? An unexpected turn of events. Kyle, get ready to fight a fire. This seems like very a series of unfortunate events, setting trees on fire, that kind of thing. In any situation like this, we'll have to do something we call a target clear. Target clearing is a process of solving a problem using the abilities of captured Pokemon. I'll explain using these burning trees. First, touch the target in case a tree on fire. So check it out. Tap. When you touch the target, the information is shown on top of the screen. When it says required field moves, you should see the teardrop icon. This icon indicates that a water type field move is needed. In other words, 
If there is a water Pokemon, the fire can be extinguished, thus solving the problem. In our case, we need a Pokemon that has the same icon as the Teardrop icon to clear the target. I'll go find a Pokemon that can use the Teardrop field move. Okay, let me guess that Mudkip over there. Our leader is incredibly fast at capturing. Oh hey look, he's already back! Yep, I knew it! I knew he was gonna hop the river, get that Mudkip, and come back. This Mudkip is a Pokemon that can control water. Can it control or can it spew? Just to be sure, touch the Mudkip and confirm that it's a water icon. Tap! Yes. Okay, this just confirmed that the Mudkip's field move is indeed water type. So, what does it mean if the target Pokemon and the Pokemon having identical field moves icons? It means that the target can be cleared by this Pokemon. Shocker! Okay, watch closely. I'll demonstrate how the fire can be extinguished using this Mudkip's field move. First, you touch the Pokemon. Touch. Then you draw a line from the Pokemon to the target. Yes, get Mudkip's help. When the target and Pokemon are joined, they will glow. Using Glosser. That'll do it. Get Mudkip's help. Oh yeah, Mudkip! Punch out the fire with your water moves. Thank you, Mudkip. See? That's how you clear a target. Kyle, now you try it. Extinguish the other burning tree. Well, I guess I first need a Mudkip. Because I don't have a water Pokemon at all. And. Well, you know what? Let's just touch it. Yep. We definitely gotta find a water Pokemon. So let's all find that water Pokemon. Here we go. Here's a Mudkip. Yes. It's a Wild Mudkip Capture On! Here we go. Like, don't run away, Mudkip! We need you. We need your abilities. We would like to put out some fires. So now let's take that mud kit, let's draw the line, and now we're gonna put out the tree. Gloosh, gloosh. The burning tree's flames were quickly extinguished. Thank you, mud kit. Mwah, au revoir. Da -da -da. Problem solved. That literally was a trial by fire. Would you clear that challenge? Mission cleared. Joom, joom. Arm up, jumps, hurrah. Thank you, Pokemon. I, uh, uh, I couldn't. It's my fault those trees caught fire. I was pretending to be a ranger and trying to catch a Pokemon. I struggled it and it breathed fire. I'm sorry. I'll try to learn more about Pokemon and respect their feelings. I'm really, really sorry. To set things on fire? Will said, little kid. That took guts to say. Don't ever forget what you said. Alright, let's head back to our ranger base. Okay, Spencer. Would you like to record your activities on your styler? Anything saved will be overwritten. Yes, yes, yes. We're saving data. We're definitely finished a mission. Our first mission. Yes, yes. Data has been saved. Great. Your work on the rookie mission was pretty impressive. To be honest, I didn't think it would be as well, or you would do as well as you did. Keep it up! Solana, Kyle, I want you to patrol Ringtown until a new mission comes up. If anything happens, you let me know immediately. Clear? Roger. Oop, and then she does a little twirl. A ranger's job isn't only about doing missions. Patrolling the city is just one of the important roles we fill. Let's hit the streets and hear what our citizens have to say. Okay, but I'd rather have missions. Rather get rank 9. Did you hear that? That was a Pokemon's cry. Uh oh. It came from over there. Oh, look! Little Minin! And then Larry. Wait, wait, wait up! Wait! My darling Taylor! Come down! Please come down! My precious Taylor! That mine is being chased by a tailor. 
Harassed. The word was harassed. Wait, that's Taylor. Larry's Taylor. We have got to save that Minin. Yes. Save the Minin. Save it, save it. We have to capture the Taylor and get it to calm down. Again, it's Larry's Taylor. Capture on. Okay. Bloop, bloop. Okay, come on, come on. Kyle, look. Look at the Minin. Yes. Whoa. That Minin is causing some ruckus. The Taylor was shocked. It can't move. Kyle, that's your chance. Capture the tail and climb it down. Yes. Boom. Got it. Yay! We did it! You did it, Kyle. Well, if it isn't Kyle, you captured my darling Taylor again. I owe you a big thanks. Larry, can you tell me something? Why is your Taylor chasing that mine in? Well, this is what happened. When my darling Taylor came back to me, I was beside myself. I was so happy. So I was happily hitting my freshest one over and over. I think that little miner became jealous of how darling was getting all my attention. So I started bugging, this, bugging my precious Taylor. My Taylor tried to ignore for a while, but that mining was so persistent. My darling Taylor finally became furious. I see. Minin, you better apologize to this Taylor promptly. Or properly. Promptly, probably, and potentially. Oh, me, me. That Minin, maybe it's lonesome. That's just the feeling I get anyway. Darling Taylor, let's forgive that little Minin and go home, okay? That's a weird Taylor. Like, onomatopoeia? Like, what is that? Like, that's so weird. May, may. Larry already said it, but maybe this mine in this feeling really lonely. How much it's taken to you already, Kyle? He really wants to be babied. Well, we connected emotionally. I wish I could connect emotionally to on my dates. Just like this mine. It's needed. And now it's registered. Kyle, did you maybe know this little guy from before? Can you tell me about it? Is that right? You saw it in Fall City's Harbor? It was in a fight with a houndoom right in the town? And then it clung to your leg so you had to bring it to Ringtown, Kyle? Wow, I guess a lot happened in a short time. True, true. Oh, I know, Kyle. You don't have a partner Pokemon yet, do you? I think this Minin would be a perfect partner for you, Kyle. I guarantee it. You say my name a lot. It's weird. Like, simmer down. And yes, Minin became my partner Pokemon. We a duo team. That's settled then. Lucky you, Minin. From now on, you and Kyle are officially partners. Facts. Let's get back to patrolling, Minin. You're with us now. Yes. Da da la. Minin and Plusle, boy and girl, we're fitting the gender roles in the game because that's what they teach us. And now we're gonna save. I really think like the saving PC thing is pretty cool, and that that's just like everywhere. But it's definitely giving me like PC box vibe. But obviously. It's just our saving section in general. Walk north from here, and you'll get to the Lyra Forest. Go to the east, and you're in... Kaisara Plain? That's such a weird name. What am I? A post sign. <laughs> Same. Same. And then who's this person? Yo, yo, yo! Hop on our Doe Duo and join our Capture Challenge, yo! Yeah, I know I said it. But we're actually not quite set up, yo. Sorry, come again with you. <sighs> okay. 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 Yeah, we get it. We get it. We get it. Like, okay. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> like. Let me just run away! And then here's Grandma. You're on a stroll with your partner Pokemon, are you? The only Pokemon that you can freely take to other towns. Don't you be your partner? 
Yes, that's possible to be accompanied by the wild Pokemon you've captured. However, you are forbidden to take wild Pokemon out of your natural habitats. After all, that's just how you help maintain the delicate balance of nature. That said, this is an entirely different story when it comes to an expert ranger. Such a ranger will have gained experience of every sort that will prevent problems with Pokemon in unfair places. Okay, okay, Grandma. Okay, Jean Mama, thank you for your little chats. I wish I had a partner Pokemon. I like the one you have. It must be fun to go on walks and with it in places like the Lyra Forest. Okay, Pokemon or Pokemon, not first dates, young guy. Get it together. Weird. As Suey would say, oh, weird. Okay, what's this house? Okay. What's my favorite Pokemon? Can you guess? Pikachu! Pikachu is so adorable! She has Let's Go Pikachu, that's for sure. The climate is always like springtime in Ringtown. It's very pleasant to live in, but it's also made me drowsy for a nap. Yeah. It probably likes a sloth Pokemon, let's be real. Okay, so I don't feel like talking to anyone else. I'm gonna go to the forest. <sighs> Solana. Oh, aren't you a lonely couple? Are you an item already? Or is this one of you about to ask the other out? Or perhaps you're on a pair of rangers out on patrol? <laughs> like, okay, old man, you weird, you weird. Did you know in the forest region? Pokemon come in different groups. Did you know this then? There are 17 different groups of Pokemon. Did you really know that? Wrong! 18 fairy types. They're new. They're new. Okay, so now we're back. We did a patrol. Uh, reporting back from patrol leader. Welcome back to the both of you. Oh, which mining is that? Could it be the same mine in front that tagged along from us from Paul City? That's right, it is. We happened to come across it when we were on patrol. We know that mining can be mischievous, but this doesn't seem to have forgotten how Kyle came to its rescue. Leader, I'd be better explain. So, Lana, there's no need to explain. I can see it with my own eyes. Yes, he has two eyes. Kyle chose that mine as his partner for one, right? I feel like it was more of a one-sided, the other side like a me more than what I can control, but potato tomato. I can see that they made a decent combination already. Oh, puzzle mine and a jump in. That's cute. It showed, I should explain what a partner Pokemon is. Every ranger is permitted to keep a single Pokemon as their partner. Why couldn't I have that before? Rude. The partner has to be a special one that has connected emotionally with their ranger, as if they were close friends. Partner Pokemon aren't there just for their cute appeal. They're expected to help the rangers when necessary. I hope your mining grows in such a supportive partner Pokemon. I'll teach you that mining special ability. You see, my puzzle is the same type as yours, so I'm familiar with it. Yes. True. Ooh, there's a war turtle. That's cool. If you want to borrow your partner Pokemon's power, it needs one thing. The partner Pokemon needs to use partner energy. You gain partner energy by drawing loops around the Pokemon during capture. Oh, so the new bar is the partner energy. Every time you draw a loop around a target Pokemon, you add to the partner energy on the partner gauge. I'll draw loops around a Pokemon. Watch how the partner gauge fills up. Okay, I'm watching. I saw Tay watching. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see, the partner energy is filled up. When the gauge fills up, they're all set to go. Oh, yeah. To borrow Minin's power, touch the icon at the bottom right. Okay. Oh, look! There's Minin. Did you see how the screen switched? This is where you choose which Pokemon, either your partner or a captured friend, you want to use. Touch any Pokemon on the screen, and stated in description of its powers are shown on both screens. Then we'll click mine in. 
Mind discharges. So once you've chosen a Pokemon, for example, your partner touch or touch the Poke Assist button. That makes your mind use its power to help you capture a Pokemon. Interesting. Oh look, it just jumps in. <laughs> just hops in, hops out. Do you understand how to use your partner Pokemon's power? Yes. Would you like to explain it again? No, 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 no. It's very reassuring to have a partner Pokemon along to help with captures. It really helps with my confidence. Yes. Leader, if there are any new missions, could we go out on a patrol again? Let's see. There's nothing new that really dem or demands immediate attention. So Solana, you do that. You could go patrol the Lyra Forest on your own. Roger. Da da la, la she's gonna patrol. You know, I'm burning with ambition again. I'm gonna work that much harder, knowing that I have a new go-getter of a rival at our major piece. True, true, Solana, very true. I'd be the rival ranger. Oh, confound it all. I became disoriented in that wretched Lyra forest yet again. Oh, but that's beside the point, Spencer. Long time, no see. I trust that you've been well. Oh, now who might be this? This unfamiliar youngster is the rookie ranger you've been telling me about. Who? 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 It's good to see you again, Professor Hastings. As you have guessed, he's our new rookie, Hope. Kyle. Ooh, I like that, using Hope as a noun. Professor Hastings. Uh, hello, Kyle. I'm Hastings. Glad to meet you. There's no need to be formal with me. You may just call me Professor if you like. Okay. Initially, Professor, I wanted to speak with you about the new styler you left with us recently. I think you called this it the Super Styler, which is just lives up to the name. It's really quite astounding, but it also worries me too. If one were to ever fall into the hands of criminals... Oh, you are needlessly. The Super Styler's existence is known only for the Ranger's leaders of the four Ranger bases. Oops. Did I rather loud? I wasn't, but no matter. The Super Styler is merely a prototype. Initially, Spencer, this is strictly between us. I have me a flash of inspiration. I have an idea about the power of the super stylish. I couldn't wait to share this idea with you, so that I took a long journey all the way from Fall City on foot. Oh, well, don't forget foot and cane. Don't forget foot and cane. Yes, Professor. Listen, Kyle, you can do me a favor. Go upstairs and check out my pharaoh. That'd be all right now. Okay, I guess I'm doing your work. Call me a Pokemon babysitter. Is this upstairs? Oh my god, there's a Dragonite. Ah, oh, a Pharaoh. Is that it? Oh, you're asking about our Pharaoh? It resting up. It must be tired from carrying both you and the leader at the same time. I'm not heavy. Rude. There's nothing to be worried about. It's quite tough, so it'll be back to his regular self in no time. But as tough as it is, it's not so tough that it can carry two grown men at the same time. I'm thinking maybe I'll have to escort the good professor back home. True. True. You can do that. So we did that, we talked to people, now let's go back down. Let's see how they are. So how did my pharaoh look? Hmm, I see. Okay, thanks. Oh yes, Kyle. I have a new mission for you. Professor Hastings will be walking back to Fall City. Your job is to escort the good professor and see to it that he returns to Fall City safely. That, Kyle, is your first official mission. Official! Oh yeah. You'll need to go through the Lyra Forest and head for the Kuroka Tunnel. Once you get through the tunnel, Fall City is just steps away. Yay! Kyle was assigned a mission! Using my ranger abilities. 
how desperate to have a young child. Well, my being in your hands. Okay. Okay. All right. We're gonna walk to the Lyra Forest, and first we're gonna save. Thank you, being right there, save machine. Yes, we will save. But cool. So, what are your guys' thoughts about Pokemon Ranger? Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? I think it's very cool. I'm really liking the, you know, the style of the game. I just feel like it is very plot emphasized, which I mean, that's usually most Pokemon games. So I feel like it's very narrative talking, very, you know, gotta be with the story to really know what's happening. So, but yeah, with that said, I think this is a good stopping point. And if you guys did like this episode, or intro of the series, give it a like and subscribe to know when more episodes will come out. If you do like Pokemon content, specifically fan artwork, you can follow my Instagram, PokeObsession. You get to see a lot of Pokemon artwork, just like the little frame around here made by Leap here. And until then, I will see you guys soon.